These chilling photos of a hiker's final moments before a fatal attack. Richard White was taking pictures of a grizzly in Alaska's Denali National Park just moments before he was mauled, and ABC's Neil Karlinski brings us that story. Rangers say 49-year-old Richard White, seen here on his Facebook page, was on the trip of a lifetime, hiking alone in Alaska's vast Denali National Park. With no witnesses to tell officials what happened, his bloodied camera has revealed how a dream adventure turned so deadly. We know what happened to him from the physical evidence that's left behind. There was uh, torn and bloody clothing out on the river. There were signs of a struggle. Timestamps on the pictures tell the story, a seven and a half minute window that went from beauty to terror. In that time, 26 pictures, which rangers won't release without the family's permission. Most of a 600 pound grizzly bear eating berries. Then the last few pictures, taken over a span of just 13 seconds, reveal something far more threatening. The bear lifts its head, turns towards white, then begins moving his way. Backcountry hikers are advised to keep at least a quarter mile from any known grizzlies. White seems to have been less than 50 yards away. This may be the first fatal bear attack in Denali National Park history. Hey! But it's not the first time man and bear have gotten too close in Alaska. In 2003, Tim Treadwell recorded himself living with grizzlies in the documentary Grizzly Man. There are times when my life is on the precipice of death and that these bears can bite, they can kill. He and his girlfriend were both brutally mauled to death as their camera rolled. In the case this week, rangers found the bear with clear evidence of its attack on white. They shot and killed it from a helicopter. For Good Morning America, Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Seattle.